Hello, I'm Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CH Certification Program by IC Council. Module Cloud Computing Security Section Introduction Cloud security refers to a set of policies, technologies, and controls deployed to protect data, applications, and the associated cloud computing infrastructure. All the network security and information security policies apply to cloud as well. These are the different types of cloud service models. This is on-premises or internal data center, where the hardware, storage, servers, virtualization, data, applications, everything is managed by own staff. We have these models in the cloud infrastructure as service, platform as service, software as service. We'll be covering these in detail in another session. These are the cloud deployment models. This is on-premises, internal data center, the private cloud, public cloud, the combined one is the hybrid cloud, and there is another community cloud as well. Security is a concern always whether you are on-premises or on cloud. This is only can be discussed, risk minimized, but never can be eliminated. Security concerns associated with the cloud computing fall into two broad categories. There are security issues faced by the cloud providers and security issues faced by the customers. Security is shared responsibility wherein the provider must secure their infrastructure and their client's data and applications while the user must take measures to secure their applications with strong authentication and coding techniques. Data stored and applications hosted on public cloud are not physically accessible. Cloud service providers should ensure proper data isolation and logical storage segregation of their clients. The use of virtualization in implementing cloud infrastructure brings unique security concerns for customers or tenants of a public cloud service. Virtualization must be properly configured, managed, and secure. Specific concerns include the potential to compromise the virtualization software or the hypervisor. Cloud security architecture is effective only if the correct defensive implementations are in place. The security management addresses these issues with security controls. The controls are put in place to safeguard any weakness in the system and reduce the effect of an attack. The main controls in the cloud security architecture are deterrent controls, preventive controls, detective controls, and corrective controls. Deterrent controls are warning information controls which are intended to reduce attacks on a cloud system. Preventive controls strengthen the system against security incidents by reducing attack surface. Detective controls are intended to detect and react to any incidents that occur. In the event of an attack, a detective control will signal preventive or corrective controls to address the issue. Corrective controls reduce the consequences of an incident normally by limiting the damage they come into effect during or after an incident. Information security controls can be selected and implemented in proportion to the risks by assessing the threats, vulnerabilities, and impacts. Cloud Access Security Brokers CASBs, are the softwares that sit between cloud service users and cloud applications to monitor all activity and enforce security policies. CASB is an on-premises or cloud-based software that monitors every action of the users, warning administrators on specific actions that are seen as potentially hazardous, enforcing compliance to security policies, and taking automatic actions for malware prevention. A CASB may deliver security management or both. CASBs that deliver security must be in the path of the data access between the user and the cloud. CASBs that deliver the management may use APIs to inspect data, inspect firewall logs, proxy logs, and activity in the cloud to alert risky events. API-only CSBs such as CloudLock offer management using APIs provided by the major SaaS applications. Security and privacy are achieved by the identity management, physical security, personal security, and privacy. Every enterprise will have its own identity management system to control access to information and computing resources. Cloud providers integrate the customer's identity management system into their own infrastructure using federation or single sign-on technology. 
or biometric based identification system or provide an identity management system of their own. Data security comprises these three parameters data confidentiality, access controllability, that is, only authorized users can access the data. Data integrity demands maintaining and assuring the accuracy and completeness of data. Numerous laws and regulations on privacy and data protection exist and some of them are PCA DSS, HIPAA Act, SOX Act, FISMA and many others. Cloud Security Alliance CSA announced the top 7 threats to cloud computing in all cloud computing environments. As per this, abuse, insecure interfaces and APIs, malicious insiders, shared technology issues, data loss or leakage, and others. Cloud security providers must secure their infrastructure and customers' data by using layers of security that is defense in depth concept. Other protection methods include strong encryption and strong key management, strong passwords, identity and access management, security policies and regular audits, complaints that is adhered to the policies and regulations. Thanks for watching.